Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys and we are back here again with another senseless countdown. <laughs> Alright guys, so today um, we are going to do a countdown of the top 10 figures under $30. And one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because I, I see a lot of uh, toy reviewers doing countdowns and a lot of them collect, you know, not only $20 action figures, $30 action figures, but $100 action figures. And so, you know, those action figures under $30, they don't get the praise that they should get simply because they're clumped in with $200 action figures, which is not really fair. You know what I mean? So I wanted to make a countdown for... Uh, collectors like myself, um, you know, who who don't really collect a lot of high end stuff. You know, I don't really collect uh, figure arts or hot toys or Mezco. Um, you know, I try not to spend more than thirty dollars on an action figure, and that's not only because I try to stay in my price range, but because I love, you know, the I love collecting, you know, Marvel Legends. If you guys watch my channel, Marvel Legends, Star Wars, a lot of older vintage figures. NECA recently just started doing, uh, collecting a lot more, especially Predator figures, Predator and Alien figures. And so I'm kind of a low-end collector. So if you guys watch my channel, then you probably, um, you probably collect the same stuff that I do, right? Maybe you might have an $80 figure in your uh, collection, maybe, a, you know, a $200 statue in your collection, like myself. But this countdown is specifically made for action figures, $30 and under. So this is the top 10, my top 10. Uh, some of you guys might not agree with me on this one, but I think um, I, I think you guys might like my countdown because I have a variety of stuff. So let's get the countdown started, guys. Okay, so number 10, here we go. We have the Kenner Tribute. Schwarzenegger right here the T1000 I believe he is um, the reason why I'm putting that number 10 guys is f mostly for nostalgic reasons um, I used to have this figure the Kenner figure when I was young he was one of my favorite favorite figures in my entire collection when I was you know I think when I was like 12 12 13 years old and I really like this Terminator figure. Nobody, I don't think anybody has ever put this guy at the count uh, at in the countdown of 2019. Um, I'm a little bit different. Like I said, these are figures under thirty dollars, so I paid probably around twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three dollars uh, shipping, not shipping, uh, total overall taxes. And uh, it's a wonderful tribute, even though it's you know it's the same sculpt as the T1000 from Terminator 2. Uh, the arm, the shirt, the face sculpt is um, is is done very nicely, man. It's it definitely belongs in the top ten uh, figures of 2019 under thirty dollars. But here is Schwarzenegger Terminator Kenner tribute at number ten, guys. Tell me what you think of that number ten. Okay, another surprise. Uh, that took me by surprise. Going from Terminator to Alien, this figure took me uh, literally by surprise, guys. This guy is freaking awesome. It's the Chrysalis Alien. The detail in this guy is just superb. The skeleton structure, skull of his head, his arms, his tail. The detail of this guy, the black with the bluish gray um, dry brushing over it and he's just a solid solid figure overall he's nice to hold in your hands you know he you know when you have an action figure and you hold him in your hands you can just feel you can just feel the power but seriously he's an awesome awesome figure um it's from the alien versus predator video game based on the alien versus predator video game he's right out of the video game man and I think NECA did an amazing job with this figure. A lot of people sleep on this figure, uh, sleep on the video game uh, Predator and Alien figures, but I think it's one of, one of their best lineups, guys. I really, really like this Alien. I That's why he stands at number nine. He would be higher up, but there's, all, there's cooler figures to come. All right, so number eight. 
some of you guys are not going to agree, agree with me on this one, is the first release of uh, from McFarlane Toys of the Mortal Kombat figures. I really dig this Sub-Zero. And listen, man, anytime you can get a Mortal Kombat figure for under 30 bucks, I think I pay like $22.99 for this guy, uh, plus tax. If you can get this guy, a Mortal Kombat, especially Sub-Zero nowadays, man, for under $30, it's awesome. The detail is really good on this figure. I really like this figure. You know, when I first rated him, I think I gave him an 8. I really do like this Sub-Zero. And being that we got this Sub-Zero here, we'll bring in the Iceman, which will combine with this Sub-Zero because essentially he's the same damn figure. I do like this Iceman a little bit better, man. I think they killed it with this Iceman. I said this in, in the review, uh, when I previously reviewed this Iceman, they, this is how the Iceman from uh, X-Men should have looked, other than that gray, weird gray look that they gave him. Um, the blue on this guy just is awesome, man. It's a awesome, awesome figure. This Sub-Zero, the first release for McFarlane Toys, is an awesome figure. And I'm not going to include Scorpion in this countdown, simply because I, I think the Scorpion figure is really good. But I wanted to kind of include, you know, a figure of each. You know what I mean? I try not to incorporate, you know, I try to, I try not to incorporate, you know, Mortal Kombat figures, a lot of Mortal Kombat figures in the top 10. So I try to mix it up. Like I said, I have a Terminator, Alien, and now I have Mortal Kombat figures here. The Sub-Zero is a really, really awesome figure. I know you've heard bad things about this Sub-Zero if you don't have them. Don't listen to those people. Pick this guy up if you're a Mortal Kombat fan. You won't be disappointed. Both of them, actually. So there is Sub-Zero at number eight, guys. All right, number seven. I think you guys are going to be surprised by this figure. Uh, I was a little bit surprised. We have the forgotten <laughs> Jedi of this year, Mace Windu, guys. I think this is the perfect... Star Wars Black Series. I think he's the best one that was released this year. Yeah, you have the Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, you have the Gamorrean Guard. Um, the Gamorrean Guard doesn't really... Well, he's he's at $30. But I think uh, for the price range you know, of uh, Mace Windu, he's perfect. The Emperor was a good figure, but he's at the $40 mark. So I can't really include him in this countdown. Uh, the, the Emperor with the chair was a good release. Uh, there were a lot of amazing Star Wars figures. The re-releases, I don't do re-releases of Darth Maul and Obi-Wan Kenobi. I, I just don't do the releases. Same thing with uh, Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett, but it's just a re-release. And this Mace Windu is brand new. So one thing I'm not going to include this in this countdown, guys, is re-releases and repaints. I just don't want to include it in a countdown because we've already seen it before. You know what I mean? So this is 2019, it's a brand new year, that's why I had this Mace Windu at number 10, 9, 8, 7, at 7 guys. This is an awesome figure, the likeness to Sam Jackson is on point guys, look at him man, he looks like Sam Jackson dude, they did an amazing job, Hasbro did an amazing job with this figure, the cloth cape, the purple lightsaber, everything about this figure is perfect, I have no complaints about this figure at all. One of the best releases, in my opinion, uh, from Star Wars Black Series, we have Mace Windu at number seven. Number six, guys, is another surprise um, for me. It took me by surprise. It is of the SPD Power Ranger figure. I do not collect Power Rangers, guys. Uh, I grew up uh, watching the very first three seasons of Power Rangers, so I'm familiar with the Red, 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 Red Ranger, Black Ranger, White Ranger, Green Ranger. I love all those Rangers, but there was just something about this guy. I don't know what it is. It, it, he's just an awesome, awesome figure. And this is coming from a guy who doesn't collect Power Rangers. The White Ranger was an awesome figure. Um, was an awesome release. The Green Ranger was an awesome release, but there was just something about this figure that I really, really love. He's different. He's unique. He's something that you don't see every day. He stands out in your collection and he comes with an interchangeable head, the dog face, the wolf face, 
which I think is really, really awesome. He's a really, really nice piece, guys. Um, and I do recommend this figure. Like I said, I don't even collect Power Ranger figures. This is the only Power Ranger figure I have in my collection. Even when I was little, I never collected Power Rangers, guys. Well, actually, that's not true. I did have the Megazord and, Gold and Goldar back in the day. But I didn't own any Power Rangers. So, yeah, he, this is something special, guys, being that I have him at the number six spot. He, he took me by a surprise. Great articulation, great design, great look overall. Didn't think I would like him. I love this figure, man. So there was the SPD uh, Power Ranger Lightning Collection at number six. Some of you guys may disagree with me on that one. Another figure that you might disagree with me is, is of this penguin. Why this penguin didn't get as much shine as he should have. I think he's an awesome, awesome piece. He's a multiverse figure, so that's probably one of the reasons why people overlooked him. You know, if he's not a part of a Collect and Connect wave, people don't pay attention to him. But he's one of, from one of my favorite uh, Star uh, Star Wars, one of my favorite Batman movies, Batman Returns. And they, like Mace Windu right here, they killed it with the face sculpt, guys. It looks like Danny DeVito's Penguin uh, came right out of the screen. Yeah, the plastic pieces and the rubber pieces and the, and, and the feet, it makes it look kind of cheap but this robe the cloth robe kind of covers up him and also he's not known for great articulation um multiverse he's a multiverse figure but he's actually not too bad and the overall look i think they got it down pat guys i think the the umbrella the top hat the vest uh his tie whatever this thing is called i guess his tie the flippers i mean he is a really really nice piece for the money man you know, I got him for under 30 bucks, and I think he's one of the best Batman releases, multiverse releases from from this uh, from this wave, the multiverse wave, the, the tribute wave, whatever you want to call it. They did an amazing job with this penguin. I highly, highly recommend this piece. And uh, yeah, that's why he's at number five, I believe, right? 10, 9, 8. Eight seven six number five five and he looks like a number five. Okay, guys, so uh, we gotta have a little bit of everything right now. We have DC figure, Power Ranger figure, Star Wars, Mortal Kombat, Alien, Terminator, and then coming in at number four was another surprise. If you guys watched my top ten Marvel Legends of two thousand nineteen, you noticed that this chick came in at a very high spot. A lot of people don't agree with me on this Jubilee, but this Jubilee is awesome, man. The detail is perfect. She's right out of the 90s cartoon. She's right out of the comic book. For a small figure, she just delivers the color, the blues, the yellow, the pinks, the sunglasses, the face sculpt, the earrings, the jeans, <laughs> the, the 90s or 80s jeans. Everything about this Jubilee is perfect, man. There is nothing wrong with her. And you're, if you're wondering, wait a minute, what about all the other cool Marvel Legends? Well, she was very high in my countdown. If you guys watched that top 10, uh, 2000 of 19 Marvel Legends, then you know she was really, really high up there. Hey, remember, this is a figure under $20. The other Marvel Legends after her were not in the $20, uh, excuse me, not in the under $30 range. So that's one of the main reasons why she made this countdown is because... You know, the Marvel Legends that came after her in the countdown, or excuse me, that was before her in the countdown, they were not under uh, the $30 range, and she was it. So that's why she made this countdown. I highly, highly recommend this piece. I love this Jubilee figure. If you're an X-Men collector, you probably already have this X-Men Jubilee in your, uh, your X-Men team. So... I really love her. I don't understand why a lot of people are not giving her the praise that she deserves. I wish she didn't come with some fireworks effects. That's the only gripe I had with this figure. Other than that, she's perfect, man. She's really, really perfect. So there was Jubilee at number four. Number three is going to surprise you guys as well. Um, it is a Predator figure, and it is not what you think. It is the Mad Predator. I know what you're thinking of all the cool Predator figure releases 
they had this year from laser shot to the green lantern predator i couldn't include him anyways because he was freaking expensive because he doesn't fall into the 30 dollars range uh the assassin predator the huge predator doesn't fall into the under $30 range. I think he, he his price range is about 40 to 60 Uh But with that being said, this Predator is freaking awesome. I love the way this Predator looks. He's one of my favorite Predators in my entire collection. I think because of the simplistic look they took for this Predator, uh, it's, it's your classic style Predator, but yet they made him blue. And it's a beautiful, like, baby blue, and it has, like, the little dark blues indications of where his muscular structure is. This uh, beige and gray touch that they gave him, the eyes, the beady eyes of this predator. I, I am so surprised, guys, that not too many people are talking about this figure, because he freaking rocks, dude. The white blades... It is from the Alien vs. Predator video game. Same thing with the Chrysalis figure over there that I just showed you right there. This video game lineup is an awesome, awesome lineup. A lot of people have slept on this video game lineup, but they just... To me, they killed it with this figure, man. And he's just one of my favorite, favorite pieces in my entire collection. They just did an amazing job. The laser shot Predator was an awesome, awesome piece, but I felt like it was just too much going on. I love the classic look of this Predator. That's probably why I have him at number three. And the blue on this guy just pops, man. Like you put him on your shelf with the, your other Predator figures, and he just stands out. He's just a true, true masterpiece. The head sculpt, the face sculpt, the eyes... Everything about this Predator is perfect, man. I can't find anything wrong with this guy. And not too many people, like I said, are giving him the shine that he deserves. But I am giving him the shine he deserves, guys. That's why he's at the number three spot. And he is an awesome figure. Pick that mad Predator up. He is a true, true masterpiece. All right, speaking of another figure that I didn't think... Uh, I would like, I bought her, and she turned out to be epic. Probably the best Psylocke Marvel Select figure that has come out in a long time, man. She is just straight beautiful. And for the price range under $30, she is perfection, man. There is nothing wrong with this figure. The face sculpt, she comes with two interchangeable heads, a bunch of interchangeable hands, uh, she comes with a psychic effect as well, and it's just beautiful, man. For the price, for this Marvel Select, they really, really killed it with this figure, man. She is way, way better than the Marvel Legends. Uh, she's just beautiful overall. They gave us the purple hair on this figure, the flowing purple hair. All the colors, they match up well. The metallic blue with the yellow and the pink match with the pink effect. Her hair is just absolutely beautiful. She's got some long, long legs on her. Maybe that's why I like her so much. It's a figure that I did not think I would like. And when I got her in hand, she was absolutely beautiful, man. I love this Psylocke figure. It's another figure that people have slept on. I think she's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. And she's pretty tall, too, measuring up to... Predator. She could be like Predator sidekick, dude. <laughs> right? Predator got has hot, has got him a hot chick, man. But yeah, I definitely recommend this Marvel Select, man. Even if you don't collect Marvel Select, I do believe you should pick up this piece because she is a true, true masterpiece, man. They did an amazing job. Diamond Select did an amazing job with this figure. And for the price range of under $30, she is perfect so there is she uh psylocke at number two guys okay number one is going to be a little controversial because these figures actually came out in 2018 they were san diego, san diego comic-con exclusives but at the beginning of 2019 is when they officially was released by gamestop um and i think you guys know where i'm going with this number one is by four 
gentlemen take this number one spot. And they are the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, guys, I, I had some gripes with these figures, but the small gripes that I had with these figures, uh, they're just small gripes compared to the masterpieces these Ninja Turtles are, man. Uh, NECA, this is probably one of the best releases NECA has ever done, has ever made. From, um, from their lineup, um, the reason why I'm putting four of these fig figures at number one, well, because when I got them at GameStop at the beginning of the year, they were priced at $22.99 each. So, it's impossible to put, like, your favorite Ninja Turtle, Raphael, at number one without his brothers. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of cheating a little bit. Yeah, I cheated a little bit with Mortal Kombat over there, Sub-Zero. But these figures are under the price range of $30. And they are true masterpieces, man. Uh, I, I can't think of a better figure figures uh, to take the number one spot, man. They just... NECA just killed it, man. Killed it this year. And, uh, yeah, this is, they take the number one spot this year, man. Even though, like I said, they came out, you know, a year before, you know, with San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, but they weren't available to the public until, uh, I believe January or February of this year, 2019. And I still think they are the best figures to come out this year under the $30 range. I definitely highly recommend these pieces. If you have them, you guys are epic, man. Epic, epic, epic. So, there you guys have it. There was my number one spot going to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from based on the 1990 movie. Uh, so, we have a little bit of everything here, guys. I tried to include everything, and it wasn't by choice. It just kind of happened that way. So, you got the Ninja Turtles. You got a Marvel Flex Psylocke. You got a NECA Predator. Marvel Legends Jubilee. DC. Penguin. Power Rangers. Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro, Star Wars, uh, Mace Windu, McFarlane, Mortal Kombat, NECA Alien, and then a NECA Terminator Kenner tribute, guys. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, NECA figures. I think NECA killed it this year, along with Hasbro. Um, yeah, most of these figures are NECA related and Hasbro, you know, related, uh, with the exception of Diamond Select and uh, DC Multiverse, um, and McFarlane as well. So, yeah, NECA has taken this top spot. These guys are the best figures of 2019. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, guys. What do you think of this countdown? Did I get it right? Do you guys like any of these figures? Do you guys own any of these figures? Um, if I'm wrong, go out and buy these figures and see for yourself, man. So I definitely recommend all these figures right here it was a great year for toys in 2019 and uh yeah we'll leave it at that number one the ninja turtles from 1990 uh 9, 1990 movie self-titled movie uh takes the number one spot all right guys so we'll leave it at that tell me what you guys think of this countdown and uh if you like this little review hit the or if you like this little countdown hit the like button comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool epic reviews like this and we'll leave it at that, guys. I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.